Hey guys, what's going on? It's Low for Low Nose, always here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. And today we are doing a lower thirds tutorial within Vegas Pro. Now the purpose of this tutorial or my goal of this tutorial is to give you like a really strong understanding on how you can actually create your own lower thirds as well as identify other lower thirds that you actually may see in videos and you actually bring those kind of cues those tools that you're going to learn here and actually maybe copy a lower third or actually create your own custom version of a lower third that you may saw or just actually you know when you get really comfortable just make your own from scratch now let's not kid ourselves here creating lower thirds is not exactly the quickest thing to do you've got to select transitions fonts colors shapes all that stuff but I'm going to give you like a strong basis understanding on how to create your own custom cool lower thirds. All right, so let's start off right now. First thing we need to do is add a track within our timeline. So I'll insert a video track. And the first thing we want to do is go to our colors within our Vegas folder. We'll find a solid color and we'll bring a green screen here. Now, the reason why we're bringing a screen screen, green, the green screen is because we need to, we're going to key this color out within the, uh, within the background. Once we like create our lower third, we're going to render everything out. So when we actually have our, our file, our based file, we actually drag it into our projects. We can always green screen the green screen uh, or chroma key it out so we actually use it. Okay, so you'll see it when I get to it later. So I'll right click, I'll create another track and now I'll, I'll actually start bringing my elements or start creating the elements of my uh, lower third. Now understand when creating these lower thirds, there's gonna be three points within creating these things. First, we're going to create it from the middle. When I say that, I means we're going to create our lower thirds at its peak point where when all the information comes in, we're gonna create it at its most information filled, where we have all of our graphics, all of our text, we're gonna create everything out of that point, and then once we create that point, then we'll actually start, we'll go back to the beginning where we'll see how we will actually bring everything into play, then we'll go to the end and decide how we're actually gonna have everything disappear from our screen. All right, so the first thing I'm going to bring into my screen is, I'll bring my logo in. Okay, and I have a good idea on how I want to do this. I'm gonna to try to uh, make this very similar to the one that I'm currently using on my video. And I'll probably do some extra things along with it. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna to go to my event pan and crop and I'm gonna resize the, uh, the shape of this icon here. Okay, now this is a PNG file where the background is already clear. I suggest if, you, if you're gonna use any elements for your lower thirds, definitely have something that has a PNG clear background so you're not having to do a lot of uh, cropping. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull away this. Uh, since we are using our event pan and crop, uh, just keep in mind that what we see here, this is what our camera is looking at. And wherever we move our camera, the perspective of what we're gonna look at is going to change. So if I bring this out, if I bring my pull my camera away, it looks like our object is getting smaller. Then if I decide to move my camera to like to the top right, the object actually goes down. Whoops, I have to switch this right here. Make sure that you have your lock aspect ratio on and you have your size about center on. For now, I'm gonna have this, uh, I can move it in any direction that I want. And I'll pull the camera away from it and it'll appear like our icon or our lower third is actually being put to the left. But we're, at, but we're actually just changing our camera perspective you could use a track motion here, but we're not gonna do that now because we may want to use uh, some keyframes uh, later on in the future. Okay, so I'll exit that out. Now I think I'm actually going to start building the rest of my lower third. Uh, let's go ahead, let's add a couple more tracks. Okay, um, I'm going to use a solid white color. I'm gonna put it here. All right, and I will have a maybe, yeah, I'll put that there. Okay, now I know for sure that I want my icon above my white box. So I'm going to bring it right here so it's above it. All right, now let's go to my white. I'll go to my event pan and crop. And let's go to our masking tool because I actually have to create a bar for this. So I have my square masking tool, masking is selected. And I'll go right here, probably make it that much, probably that long. You, might, you usually want to make this maybe about like half a screen size or almost a screen size long so you have enough room for your information, especially since this is gonna hide behind my icon just a little bit. Um, this looks actually just about nice, okay? So I'll go, I'll click back onto position and I will now use my event pan and crop again. I will, do I need to make it smaller? Probably not, I'll probably just leave it the same size. Now I'm gonna move my camera up and away so my bar here looks like it's actually 
there. All right, so that's looking good. Um, it does sort of look a little big, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to shrink the size of my icon. Let's make it just a little smaller. All right, and we'll move it here. All right, that, that sort of works. Now I want to get a little cute with it. I think I want to have another layer underneath this layer. So I'm going to hold control and so I can save myself the time. Actually, let me move this up. I'm going to move this up here and my I'm going to copy this to uh, this empty track right here and I'm going to I'm going to change the color. Then I will offset um, or unalign the two colors. I'll show you what that looks like right now. So I'm going to hold control. I'm going to drag this down. So it just made an exact copy of it. Now I'll go and I'll change the color. I'm going to make it red. All right. Okay, now I'll go to the event panel crop of our of our red cutout. And I'm just going to offset it just a little bit. There we go. Probably like that. That that looks good. I I like the way that looks. All right. So now let's try building our text. All right? So I'm going to right click, I'll create it track actually let's start two tracks i'm gonna have something here at the top it says uh, don't forget to don't forget to and then at the bottom i'll have subscribe so i will go to my vegas folder again but this time legacy text i'll grab my my clear text here that has a uh, transparent transparent background and i'll type let's let's do like i said don't forget to Let's click here, all right. And let's make the font a little smaller. Let's go for 60, probably 48 probably. All right, and then we can actually choose a, a different, I like Big Noodle, I, I, I like this font right here. So we'll use that. Uh, then we actually, we can go to properties. We can mess with the scale if you want, make it smaller, bigger again. But this time we'll go to placement. I'm gonna place it right here on top, but my words are white, so let's make them black. I go to properties and I'll drag right here and that'll bring my color to black. Now let's go ahead and let's create our second element. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to use my the impact font. That'll look that looks good. I'll go to my properties. No, my placement. And right there, let's go to properties now so I can change the color of it so we can see it. There we go. Now let's change the scaling, reduce the scaling so we can actually fit. Let's go to the placement again. Let's see if we can make this fit very nice. All right, something's gonna have to give. I'm probably gonna have to shrink the don't forget just a little more. Properties and shrink, don't forget. And let's raise it up. Uh, you don't have to always use a mouse. Once you, if you click on the box, you can use your keys for a little more control as far as what you're doing. Okay, so we could tinker, uh, tinker with it a little more, probably maybe finding another font, but I want to move along. So as we've seen right now, uh, we brought in an icon. This could have been like an Instagram icon, a Twitter icon, a Facebook icon, a YouTube icon, but it's it's the same thing. We have it right here. Uh, we brought some bars here for our lower thirds. Uh, you could do it the any way, any way you want. Um, masking, making this any kind of shape that you want, or maybe getting uh, uh, some clip art from Google or something. Let me show you right here. I've got some clip art right here. And you could actually just download these, um, whether it's copyrighted, you have, you have to take that under your own consideration. But you can take examples like this, and I have a, an example right here. I downloaded one for you real quick, and you can actually just do it right there, and you can always actually chroma key out the black so it's usable for other things. But, you know, so instead of creating sh uh, shapes, you can just go into Google and just find your own little, uh, maybe preferred lower third styles and probably add text overlay and all that stuff. All right enough about that so okay so we are getting closer to our peak point let's start with our transitioning if we have time um we can probably add some maybe some additional cool effects so i'm going to start animating everything right now and the first thing i want to do is i want to bring this guy first then i want my white bar to come in for, uh, next then my red bar then i want my letters to show up after that so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to drag everything off to the side just a little just a little bit first Okay, I'm going to bring this out first because I want this guy to show up first. All right. And then this will come in second and then this will come in third and then followed by our letters. So now we have to start adding some keyframes or animate this. Now I could add a regular transition effect to uh, this guy right here. So I'll go to Vegas. 
and here are all my built-in Vegas transitions. And I could probably add, let's say, uh, a hard flash. I'll put a hard flash here. Okay, and I'll go to the start, and we'll see how it looks like. All right, okay, that, 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 doesn't, that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm gonna leave that for now. Eventually, I'm gonna go back to the track motion. We're gonna animate that. All right, so now I'm going to, we're gonna bring this white bar in. So for this one, we're gonna go to transition, and we will find the push transition because I want this to go from left to right. So I want it to push right. I'll add it right here, place, place it on the beginning of this color. Okay, so if, if this comes in, that happens, and then that, that happens, okay? But I want this to happen just a little faster. And let's try it again. Push, all right, so that's happening a little too fast. All right, that looks good. I want the white to come in just a little faster, so I'm gonna make my push transition smaller, so it's quicker. Bump, okay, that looks good. Now I want my red to come in doing sort of the same thing, so I'll grab my push right transition again. All right, and let's see how it looks. Icon comes in, white comes in, red comes in. Okay, that actually looked pretty good. I, I might wanna make it just a little faster or maybe wait till the white ends and then the red comes in. White, red, okay, yeah, that was pretty good. Let's make it a little, little, a little sooner. Okay, I, I like the way, I, I'm comfortable with that. Now let's bring our words. I think I just want my words to just kind of fade in, but if you want, you can add a transition. Remember, this is all up to you. Play with the different transitions, play with the different visual effects on how you want these things to look and actually come in. But for this example, I'm going to just, I am just going to fade them in. I'm gonna have the don't forget come in first, and then the subscribe will come in second. Okay, bump, bump. And there you go. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay, so let me just flip the tracks around. Subscribe is still coming up first. Uh, my, my mom, that, that, that just means all I have to do is this. There we go. Don't forget subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the track motion of this part that I was telling you about. I'm gonna remove this flash. Okay, and I'm gonna make it more similar to the way you see my intro uh, character the, the animation for my intro. So what I want to do is I want to have it end here, but I want it to come from the corner over here. So what I will do is go to my track motion. All right. For this example, I want to put on sync to cursor. All right. So whatever it is, I want it to create a key point. So right now I know this is where I want it. So I will press keyframe because Within this point here, I want it to be in this location, but anything before, I want it to be away. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm gonna make a point right here. So you can see my timeline here. This is my final position. This will be my starting position. And from the starting position, I'm going to make it disappear. I'm gonna bring it off to the corner. So when we play it, it's gonna come from the corner and, st and end up right here. So let's start it off. Boom, okay. Now, if, you, if it seems a little too slow, you can bring the keyframes even closer to each other from here within the timeline or here within the actual keyframing key part of the motion, uh, track motion. So let's try it again. Oh, that was a little, okay. Try it again. Yeah, okay, so that looks good. Uh, let's bring it mo closer. It looks like it's kind of waiting there just a little too long. Bump, okay. Let's bring it again. Let's bring it even closer. That looks good. All right. That looks uh, great. That looks fantastic. Now we actually start getting a little cute with everything. Um, if I want to, I can actually go to track motion for this white bar and I can add a shadow to it. There we go. Oh, well, nope. Let's go to black. Black, there we go. Uh, we will... Sorry about that. All right, yeah, look at that. There we go, that looks pretty good. And we actually, we can actually do the same thing for the red. Track motion, go to shadow. There we go, now even that has a shadow. Can we play it. It is looking great. And we can even add a shadow to our guy here as well. So I'll go, I'll go to track motion, let's add a shadow there. Now you can always play with the parameters of the shadows. It doesn't have to be the same hard shadow every single time, but we're just going through it just so you have an understanding. And that that actually looks great. That looks fantastic. And yeah, it's looking, it's doing some kind of flashing thing. I wonder what's going on here. 
Let's do a... Let's do shift B. Pre-render this thing. Okay, alright, so that was just some little glitch within itself. That looks beautiful. Alright, so this is all said and done. Uh, let's end up our transition. I will go all the way to the I will go all the way to the right. I'll put it here. Our transit I'm sorry, our lower third transitions or just our lower thirds, they really don't need to be any anything longer than four to five seconds. Alright, so here we go. Boom, boom, boom. And it should really it should have ended right there. Let's bring it even closer. All right, so boom, you're up, you're there. That's great, and now we want it to go. All right, so let's have some fun here. Let's let's really have this thing go, uh, have it do something. So we can have it split, uh, portals, iris, flash, clock wipe, cross effect. Uh... All right, you know what, let's, let's have fun. Let's have everything fly away. All right, like I said, be creative with how you want everything uh, to be done. Okay. So everything, hopefully everything doesn't fly away in a separate, same direction, but, you know, for, just for the, the speed of this tutorial, we'll use the same, uh, tra the transition effect out. Now remember, if you're doing a beginning transition, you want to put it in the beginning corner. If you're doing an end transition, you want to put it at the end corner. Okay, nothing on a green screen, and let's see what it looks like now. And now it flies away. Okay, well let's let's do a a, a pre-render for it again. Chef B. Oh, okay, so that didn't look bad at all. And then it flies away. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so now let's render this. Okay, so I'll highlight it, take my point, let's go to render. Alright, and I would suggest that you actually record this in the highest. Uh, rate possible because this is only going to be a lower third and you really want it to have like a really sharp look No matter what kind of video source you're gonna be using in the future whether it be 4k 2k 1080p 720 Whatever um, you really don't want to skimp out on the the resolution or the quality of your lower thirds So I'll use uh, my high quality 70 megabytes uh, Well, I'll call this my low third. <laughs> I get it low third uh, and we will render it All right, and in the meantime, I'll find something to kind of I'll find something to put under everything. What can I use? Anything cool for my desktop? Yes, we'll use this. I will definitely use this right here. All right, here we go. I am putting affirmations out there. I am willing myself to have my Tesla and I'm putting the Tesla, my future Tesla in this video and I will take my generated lower third. I'll go ahead and I'll just drag it onto my timeline. All right, let's put it right here. And here we go. All right, now here's our green screen. We now have to key, we now have to chroma key our green screen so we can see the transparency so we can see the Tesla at the bottom. So let's go to video effects. Let's go to Vegas or go to your favorite chroma key or programming program. Go to chroma key. Since we use the same green, uh, solid green color from the Vegas stock It will match the Vegas stock chroma key green. So we just drag it onto here Green and boom it is gone just like that. Now let's see what it looks like from the start to finish. Oh Yes, that looks great, but you see how okay. I'm gonna give you like a little bonus tip right now. You see how You see how right here. It's kind of like doing a little zoom That's because we still have this on our sync cursor. If I took this off and I, and I deleted the actual keyframe here, the moving keyframe, okay? You see how it's still here? It'll, it'll stay now. You see that? Okay, but I'm going to make sure your sync to cursor's off. I'll go ahead and I'll just change our perspective to 16 by nine. So now we have like a wide look to it. And now it's covering the screen, and we can do it again. All right, it's doing something weird there. What was it catching? That's weird. I'm not sure where it's getting that from. How did I miss that? 
That is weird. Was it doing it here? Huh. Oh, you know why? Because I did something over here. Yeah. Let's just mute that track out. Nope, something's still messing with it. <laughs> Let's actually take a look at it. Oh yeah, it did something. Look at that. All right, so that's it. I'm leaving you with some really good tools here so you can create your own uh, lower thirds, and it also should give you like more understanding of actually just working yourself around Vegas Pro 15. Guys, keep working on this. The more you use this, the better you will get, and I'll leave you with this, guys. Whoever, he or she, if they think they can do it, or if they think they can't do it, guess what? You're right. So be the person who always thinks that they can do it and you will do it. All right, guys, that is it. If you like this video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about creating lower thirds within Vegas Pro. I'll be more than happy to get back to you and help you out with your problems. Also, hit me up on my social media on low nose sort of. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.